that I can capture the joy in someone who I think needs to see that joy in themselves. I often get asked, what is it that I love about photography? And in part, I guess it is the technical challenge, although that's not specific to photography because I enjoy that kind of challenge in general. Uh, in my graphic design and print production work, I love trying to figure out exactly the right components and then figuring out how to get them to work properly, not only in the design piece, but also in the print production piece, trying to figure out how to get it designed and produced in a way that in the end, I end up with what I want. When there's a technical difficulty with a piece of equipment, I kind of enjoy the mystery of figuring out how to make that better, how to fix it, how to deal with it. So I in general enjoy that kind of stuff. So I can't say that that's specifically the larger reason that I enjoy photography. It's a piece of why I enjoy photography. So in thinking about it, what I came down to is I think that I enjoy photography because well, let's start with the fact that the world is a little bit much for me. It's, it's a lot to take in for me. I don't know about you. For me, it's a lot to take in. When I use my camera, uh, first of all, I get to focus in on one little piece of that. I'm not, you know, trying to take in the whole universe. But to me, when I say that I get a capture, what I call a picture, a capture, and I capture a moment... A lot of people say they look at a picture and they can, you know, remember an experience or, um, you know, describe the story of what was going on or it just gives them kind of a feeling of good or sad or whatever. For me, the best I can describe it is that I don't just remember that experience. I actually re-experience it. Uh, I relive it. Every time I look at a photo, I relive everything that was happening in that photo. And that's just the way it works inside of me. When I, when I look at a photo, I can 99 out of 100 times tell you exactly where I was, exactly what was going on and what the people in the photo were doing and what was happening. And all because I remember... Okay, back up. Everybody says, a lot of people say, we were all put here for a reason. We all have a purpose. We all have a reason. I agree with that. I don't think God just dropped me here to put gas in my tank, drive there, put gas in my tank again, and drive over there. Okay. I don't know exactly what that reason is. I can tell you that the reason that I have for getting up every day is smiles. I have no better description of it than that. Smiles. I want to make smiles. I don't really need anything back. I'm not, I'm not looking for anything back. The smiles make me smile. I'm good. That that's, that's all I'm looking for. Um, I will tell you that there are, I say currently it's a, a set of seven. There are, or there are always, but there is a set of seven smiles that are just the most important smiles to me. Obviously, Tina and James are on that list. Typically, that list outside of Tina and James uh, consists of people that I know that I feel that, that I have seen have what I would call a dent in their smile, uh, that there's something that I have picked up on that tells me there's an amazing, beautiful smile there. And, and I don't just mean a physical smile on their face. When I say smile, I mean smile. Some people say when you, you really smile, when your eyes smile too, I'm talking more than that. I'm talking when they, their whole being actually smiles. I call it a smile of the heart. You see it in the eyes. Maybe that's why everybody calls it when your eyes smile too. But generally, you see it in the eyes. But you can usually see if there's what I would call a little dent in that smile. It's not that the person's sad, naturally sad or anything. There's just something. There is a thing um, that has 
put a little dent in their smile. And sometimes that dent's a little bigger than others. It's always kind of there a little bit, but there's times when it gets much bigger. When I see that, I, I cannot not try to make that smile smile. <laughs> um, I, can, I can't fix the dent most of the times. I mean, you know, if it's a friend or something, not, you know, if it's not Tina or James, I can't really fix the dent. I can relieve the pressure of the dent a little bit, I guess, but uh, if that, but, but I can't fix the dent and, I, and I'm not looking to fix the dent. That's not my role. That, that's, that's my role for Tina and James. That's, that's not my role for others. My role is to just give distraction from that dent, I guess would be the best way to say it. As I see my role, I'm not, I'm not saying everybody, ex anyway. So, so there are a certain set of smiles that are significantly important to me because I feel that there is something there. That I don't like, I don't like seeing that dent just sit there. Um, I, I like to try and do something about it, even if it's just, you know, a, a surface, effect <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, so, and there are on that list of seven, there are smiles that I talk to more frequently than others. Uh, there's some I talk to every once in a blue moon. There's some I talk to on a more regular basis. There's, uh, you know, I, I would, I would, my heart would love to see those smiles or, or know of those smiles. Some of them are out of state. So know of those smiles every single day. That's, that's not going to happen. Um, that's just impossible logistically. Uh, but I can tell you that when, if I see all seven of those smiles in a day, I know my mood improves. Um, if I don't see a bunch of those smiles for a couple of days, I know my mood changes. Um, I know there are certain days where I really need all seven of those smiles. Um, there's certain days where a particular one of them will just get me over whatever hump is that day. I think we're all kind of like that. I think I'm just detailing it out. I it, I don't mean to make this sound as though I'm deeper than anybody else. I just, this, this is my how it works in my head, how I how I experience it, I guess. So when I take a photo, particularly of a person, and I think the reason I like action shots, uh environmental shots, um, you know, candid candid shots so much is because that's when I feel you really catch that smile when someone's heart smiles. That, that's what you see in their eyes when their heart smiles. A posed portrait is is great. I, I, I enjoy doing the technical aspects. I enjoy setting that up. I enjoy the smile. I enjoy, you know. But to me, seeing that real genuine happiness sometimes isn't even a, a physical smile. Sometimes a physical smile doesn't happen. But you can see something that just, it might be a slight smile, it might be none, it might be big, but, but there's something that you can see in the person's face, particularly in their eyes, that says their heart just smiled. Just for a moment. That's all I can do. Other Again, other than for Tina and James, that's all I can do. I can hopefully make Tina and James' hearts smile much more often and frequently and deeply and, you know. For everyone else, I can just, if there's just that little glimmer of an instant, just a moment of a smile, and the more dented that heart is, the more important it is for me to see that glimmer of a smile. That is significantly important to me. Um, now, when I say the world is a little much for me, when I take that picture, it captures that. Everything that that is and, and, and freezes it and when I go back to that picture, when I look at that picture, I remember that exactly. I remember just seeing that dent release for a moment. And that to me is huge. I re-experience that. I relive that. Um, I assume everybody does that. I'm just, I can only speak for me. So, so what I love about photography 
not that I don't enjoy the act of photography. I do love the act of photography and the technical aspects, like I said, and, and, and performing it. And, and that's wonderful. But to me, it's more the capturing of that experience and the being able to not only for me to see that, but to be able to show that person, look, look, the dent's gone. Just, just for a frozen moment, that dent was gone. It was not there for just an instant. It fleeting, but for an instant it was gone. That's huge to me. Um, on the flip side of that, when I say the world is a little much for me, so I need to condense it down to these frames, I can be a little much for the world. Uh, I think everybody knows that, and I, I hope everybody knows that I know that. So I know <laughs> that... When I see a dent that I feel I need to undent for a second, I, you know, you pretty much have to dart me, <laughs> tranquilize dart me to, 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 and then I will eventually wake up. <laughs> so what do I love about photography? The technical aspects, but even more than that, that I can capture the joy in someone who I think needs to see that joy in themselves. I love seeing that joy, but I love showing them, look at this joy inside of you. It's there. I know that there's this other thing. I know that there's this dent. I know that there's, I know that's there. But look at this joy. Look, this is you. And that is why I love photography.